In today's lecture, we are going to see energy and power signals. Energy signal is defined as E is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n the whole square where your x of n is the signal. The average power of a discrete time signal is defined as P is equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 2n plus 1 summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n the whole square. We are going to use these two formulas to solve the numericals on energy and power signal. Some points to be noted now are the signal is an energy signal if and only if the total energy of the signal is finite for an energy signal power signal is zero. So if signal is energy signal the energy must be finite and the power will be the power of the signal will be zero whereas if signal is power signal the power will be finite and energy will be infinite. These two points have to be remembered while solving the numericals. Now let us see the first numerical. Determine energy and power of unit step signal. u of n. Let us see the solution. Let us write the formula for energy signal first. E is equal to summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n the whole square. So now let us substitute n is equal to minus infinity to infinity. Let us substitute x of n with u of n because my u of n is my unit step signal. Now point to be noted is that my u of n is equal to 1 for all n is e greater than or equal to 0. Whenever n is greater than or equal to 0 the value of the unit step signal is 1. But it is 0 when n is less than 0. Now we, we know this that is why we are going to change the limits of the summation over here. Now that we have replaced the x of n use, uh, with u of n. What we are going to write in the next step is that summation n is equal to now it will start from 0 and go on to infinity because I know my unit step signal starts from 0 and the rest of the signal uh, will be written as it is. Now I know that the value of u of n is equal to 1 from 0. Okay. So now I am going to write 1, um, so this will be 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square infinite number of times. So my answer will be infinite an infinite value. Now since my energy is infinite and according to the rules that I have mentioned, 
as for a signal to be an energy signal it has to have a finite value therefore my unit step signal u of n is not an energy signal that means if it's not an energy signal or if the energy of the signal is infinite that means it's a power signal we know that it's a power signal because the energy is infinite so now what we are going to do next is we are going to find the power of the unit step signal okay uh, let's write the formula for the power uh, power signal so p of x of n is given by limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 summation of n is equal to minus capital n to plus capital n x of n the whole square let's substitute x of n with u of n as we're calculating the power of the unit step signal u of n the whole square now i know that my u of n starts with with 0 okay now the end limit over here is n so i'm going to go till n so replacing minus n with 0 that's what i'm going to do in the next step so limit n tends to infinity 1 by 2n plus 1 summation of n is equal to 0 to n u of n the whole square okay now what do i do limit n tends to infinity 1 upon 2n plus 1 uh i know u of n is uh, nothing but 1 so that's what i'm going to do 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square n number of times okay so i'm not going to write n over here to avoid confusion okay but this is going to go on for n number of times now one formula which you have to keep in mind is if i have summation n is equal to 0 to capital n 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 the answer for this is n plus 1 why does this happen because i am adding 1 n number of times and it starts with 0 so you can think of it as what if i am adding 1 from 0 to 3 number of times what does that mean i am adding 1 from 0 to 3 number of times means i am adding 1 for 4 times so when i say i am adding 1 from 0 to n number of times that means i am adding 1 for n plus 1 number of times okay so this is the logic behind this formula that we are going to use over here okay so now my this term will be replaced by n plus 1 into 1 but that's the same so that's not that's i'm going to avoid writing that all right so let's rewrite it now so is equal to limit n tends to infinity n plus 1 upon 2n plus 1 Now next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take n as common. Taking n common in the numerator would give me 1 plus 1 by n. Taking n common in the denominator would give me 2 plus 1 by n. Okay? When as n as n 
tends to infinity i can very well say that 1 by n tends to 0 okay so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to replace this term and this term with 0 all right uh, n and n will be common over here so it will be cancelled out so my answer is going to be 1 by 2 so this is finite power all right this is finite power that means unit step signal u of n is a power signal with power of 0 0.5 joules that's the unit of power that we're going to use okay so this is how a typical energy and power numerical is solved you just have to simply substitute the signal given in the question uh, with the formula that we have and you get the solution for it